So when setting the throwout play or the backlash or whatever you want to call it, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to set the distance that this thing has to expand before it compresses the um, diaphragm spring in there. So we're going to turn this in as in righty tighty because what's going to happen is it's going to thread in there and it's going to make this whole assembly really loose. So what happens is when you pull your clutch in, it goes like this, it expands out, you let your clutch out, it goes back here and ramps down. So take this, rock it back and forth, find that seated all the way in place. Then take your flathead screwdriver, back this screw out to the left. You're going to do this with a really, really light touch on your fingers. You're going to go until it makes contact, or you'll feel it just stop. And at that point, that whole throwout assembly has now clamped together onto the ball bearing. So right there, if you go any more, you're going to start pushing the diaphragm spring in and basically be pulling in the clutch just a wee little bit. We don't want that. Also, you need to have just a wee little bit of clearance so oil gets in there around the ball bearings too. So we thread it till it stopped, and then we're going to back it off maybe a little less than an eighth of a turn. So to give you an example, stopped is about 1030. You know, if we're looking at the slot of the screwdriver, we're going to take it to about 1130, not even all the way at 12 o'clock. And that's it. It stays right there. Now, when you reinstall your clutch cover, What's going to, or your derby cover, you have this little nut here with the spring washer on it. And it's got two little flats. When you slide this in here, it's going to grab the flats that are on this shaft. Whoop. And then the spring against the cover will hold it all in place. And that's going to lock your setting in place right there. Now on your clutch cable, slide your rubber slinky thing up out of the way. And remember the bottom one of this spins. So you can spin that, hopefully, with your hand. And as you're doing this, it's essentially making the sheathy on the cable longer. Make sure this jam nut's just loose and hanging out in the middle. So you're going to crank that cable sleeve until that gap closes. This gap right here closes up on the lever. Once that closes up, a little bit more there. Make sure this part of the cable is seated in there nice and tight. Even give the clutch a couple pulls. Make sure it's not going anywhere. Now, you just want to have just a teeny tiny little bit of play right there. So we're going to back the adjuster off just a wee little bit. Until we have just a wee little bit of play. Just enough to... Oh, right there. Just enough to verify that the clutch cable is loose inside the sheathing. Now that you have that set... You can run the lock nut up, hold it with one wrench, or hold the cable with one wrench, jam, lock the jam nut down with the other. Just like that. Then put your rubber slinky back over it. Reinstall your little clips or whatever holds your cable to the frame. 